Football is the sport with the helmets. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't think I'd need to explain that, but uh, the writers backstage seemed super confused, so. It was Super Bowl weekend, so it was only fitting that Houston Texans defensive end J.J. Watt took over hosting duties for this week's SNL. The NFL athlete took on a number of hilarious characters throughout the night, including Kristoff from Frozen in a sketch showing deleted scenes from Frozen 2. Big and woke, big and woke. I'm a humongous, sensitive oaf. A dad having an awkward conversation with his son about walking in on him and his mom. But son, little boys have sex. And me? I'm a big dog, and I had that thing woofing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oof, poor kid. And a parody of The Bachelor with Watt playing The Bachelor, interviewing potential love connections. Oh, happy 30th birthday, guards. <laughs> no. Watt also paid tribute to basketball star Kobe Bryant by wearing a number 24 Lakers jersey at the end of the episode when all cast members are on stage for the farewell. Elsewhere in its cold open, SNL once again tackled President Trump's impeachment trial, this time presenting a reality court show version of the proceedings. This court needs a real judge who got some big brass ones under his skirt. SNL also tackled the coronavirus in its weekend update segment with Bowen Yang playing one of his reoccurring characters, Chen Biao, who's now got a proposition. New gig. It pays more and it's a lot sadder. <laughs> and I guess I'm China's new crisis queen. I don't know. Yang's Biao addressed the rumors and even threw in a little promotion. And we are committed to preventing the further spread of this virus with patience, diligence, and these exclusive Chen Biao Burberry surgical masks. Chen Biao, everybody! We're on this week's SNL. Head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.